Bowflex. In this video, we will show you how to replace the speed sensor. Before you begin, please make sure you read the assembly manual thoroughly as it contains important safety warnings and service tips. The instructions shown here are for the Bowflex Treadmill 10, Treadmill 22, Treadmill 25, and Treadmill 56. Your machine may not match exactly as the one shown in this video. The following tools are recommended for this procedure. To reduce the risk of electrical shock or unsupervised usage of the equipment, always unplug the power cord from the wall outlet and wait 5 minutes before cleaning, maintaining or repairing this machine. Place the power cord in a secure location. Using a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, remove the 5 indicated screws that secure the motor cover. Remove and set the screws aside for reassembly. To assist with reassembly of the motor cover, the two front screws are short. Remove the motor cover. Take note how the speed sensor routes and connects to the MCB motor control board. Orientation is based from a walking position. Next, remove the left pivot cover. Using a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws, indicated by arrows, that attach the left pivot cover and set them aside for reassembly. After removing the left pivot cover, raise and fold the treadmill. Make sure that there is safe clearance around, on and above the treadmill. Make sure there is no object to spill or cause blockage from the fully folded position. Be sure there is adequate height clearance for the raised deck. Using the deck handle found below the rear of the walking belt, push the walking deck release button and lift the walking deck fully upward and engage the hydraulic lift. Be sure that the hydraulic lift is correctly locked in place. You will hear an audible click when the hydraulic lift shifts into the locked position. Use proper safety precautions and lifting techniques. Bend your knees and elbows, keep your back straight, and pull up equally with both arms. Make sure that your own physical strength is capable of lifting the walking deck until it engages the locking mechanism. Use a second person if necessary. Do not use the walking belt or rear roller to lift the treadmill. These parts do not lock in place and can abruptly move. Make sure that the locking mechanism is engaged. Carefully pull back on the walking deck and make sure that it does not move. When you do this, keep clear of movement path in case the treadmill lock is not properly engaged. Do not lean against the treadmill when it is folded. Do not put items on it that could cause it to become unstable or fall. Next, locate the left shrouds. To assist with reassembly of the shrouds, an arrow indicates a self-tapping screw and an oval indicates a machine screw. Using a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, remove the one self-tapping screw, indicated by arrow, from the outside top left motor cover shroud. Set the screw aside for reassembly and lower the walking deck. Make sure there is sufficient space to lower the walking deck. Keep a minimum clearance behind the machine of 79 inches, 2 meters, and 19.7 inches, 0.5 meters, on each side. This is the recommended safe distance for access, movement, and emergency dismounts from the machine. Make sure there is no object to spill or cause blockage from the fully folded position. Slightly push the walking deck forward toward the console. Using the deck handle found below the rear of the walking belt, push the walking deck release button, hold up the rear of the walking deck, and move to the side of the machine. Keep clear of the movement path of the walking deck. The hydraulic lift is set up to drop gradually. Hold on to the walking deck until approximately two-thirds of the movement down. Make sure that you use proper lifting technique, bend your knees, and keep your back straight. Be sure that the walking deck can possibly drop quickly in the last part of the movement. Using a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, remove the three screws, indicated by arrows, that attach the inside top left motor cover shroud. Remove the inside top left motor cover shroud. Using a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, remove the three screws, indicated by ovals, that attach the outside top left motor cover shroud. Remove the outside top left motor cover shroud. 
Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws indicated by ovals that attach the outside lower left motor cover shroud. Carefully remove the outside lower left motor cover shroud with the inside lower left motor cover shroud still attached to it from the frame. Using a five millimeter hex wrench from the outside and a 10 millimeter wrench on the inside of the frame, remove the hardware indicated by ovals that secures the speed sensor assembly. After noting how the zip tie secures the speed sensor cable to the frame, cut the zip tie that secures the speed sensor cable. Attach the new speed sensor to the frame, but do not fully tighten the hardware. Secure the new speed sensor cable to the frame just as the old cable was secured. If the cable is not secured in the same manner, there is the potential to damage the cable during reassembly. Rotate the drive pulley until the speed sensor magnet is beside the speed sensor. With the speed sensor magnet centered on the speed sensor, fully tighten the hardware that attaches the speed sensor. Be sure that the magnet is centered after tightening. Cut the remaining zip ties that secure the speed sensor cable. Remove the speed sensor connector from the motor control board. Reference the manual for a complete wiring diagram. Take note how the speed sensor connects to the MCB board. The wiring diagram shown here is for the Treadmill 10 and Treadmill 22. The wiring diagram shown here is for the Treadmill 25 and the Treadmill 56. Route the new speed sensor cable along the frame. Attach the new speed sensor connector to the motor control board. Using replacement zip ties, secure the speed sensor cable to the frame and trim the excess from the zip ties. Be sure not to cut the speed sensor cable. Reinstall all parts that were previously removed. To assist with reassembly of the shrouds, an arrow indicates a self-tapping screw and an oval indicates a machine screw. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, loosely attach the outside lower left motor cover shroud to the frame with the indicated machine screw. The inside lower left motor cover shroud is attached to the outside lower left motor cover shroud. Place the outside top left motor cover shroud on top of the outside lower left motor cover shroud. Gently pivot the inside upper left motor cover shroud onto the outside top left motor cover shroud and loosely attach them together with the indicated self-tapping screw. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, loosely attach the outside upper left motor cover shroud to the frame with the indicated machine screw. With all of the shrouds now seated correctly, secure the outside lower left motor cover shroud to the frame with the indicated machine screw. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, secure the inside upper left motor cover shroud with the indicated self-tapping screws. Raise the deck to access the bottom screw. Make sure that there is safe clearance around, on, and above the treadmill. Make sure there is no object to spill or cause blockage from the fully folded position. Be sure there is adequate height clearance for the raised deck. Using the deck handle found below the rear of the walking belt, push the walking deck release button and lift the walking deck fully upward and engage the hydraulic lift. Be sure that the hydraulic lift is correctly locked in place. You will hear an audible click when the hydraulic lift shifts into the locked position. Use proper safety precautions and lifting techniques. Bend your knees and elbows, keep your back straight, and pull up equally with both arms. Make sure that your own physical strength is capable of lifting the walking deck until it engages the locking mechanism. Use a second person if necessary. Do not use the walking belt or rear roller to lift the treadmill. These parts do not lock in place and can abruptly move. Make sure that the locking mechanism is engaged. Carefully pull back on the walking deck and make sure that it does not move. When you do this, keep clear of movement path in case the treadmill lock is not properly engaged. Do not lean against the treadmill when it is folded. Do not put items on it that could cause it to become unstable or fall. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, secure the outside upper left motor cover shroud with the indicated self-tapping screw. After tightening the screw, lower the walking deck. Make sure there is sufficient space to lower the walking deck. Keep a minimum clearance behind the machine of 79 inches, 2 meters, and 19.7 inches, 0.5 meters, on each side. 
This is the recommended safe distance for access, movement, and emergency dismounts from the machine. Make sure there is no object to spill or cause blockage from the fully folded position. Slightly push the walking deck forward toward the console. Using the deck handle found below the rear of the walking belt, push the walking deck release button, hold up the rear of the walking deck, and move to the side of the machine. Keep clear of the movement path of the walking deck. The hydraulic lift is set up to drop gradually. Hold on to the walking deck until approximately two-thirds of the movement down. Make sure that you use proper lifting technique, bend your knees, and keep your back straight. Be sure that the walking deck can possibly drop quickly in the last part of the movement. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, secure the outside upper left motor cover shroud with the indicated self-tapping screw. Fully tighten all of the hardware that attaches the shrouds. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, secure the left pivot cover to the frame. Reinstall all remaining parts that were removed in reverse order. Congratulations! Replacing the speed sensor is now complete. Inspect your machine to ensure that all hardware is tight and components are properly assembled. Do not use until the machine has been fully assembled and inspected for correct performance in accordance with the assembly manual. Brought to you by Bowflex.